Hi everyone, Special K8 here, and I'm going to be doing a two-part um, What I Wore This Month um, video. It's May 2015, and I don't have enough space on my memory, so um, you'll get it in two parts. Um, my period this month was really weird. Um, I was nine days late, which is unusual for me, and it was very, very heavy, so I used more than 40 pads. Um, which also is why it's taking me so long to try to get a video done because it's taking up all the space available. Um, so anyway, I'm going to do lights and then liners in this video, and then I'll do moderates, heavies, and overnights in the other one. Um, but one of the things I did want to highlight is that um, there's a couple pads at the end that I'll go back to um, to just talk about specifics on those ones. Um, but other than that, I'll probably just be giving information on the makers. So these three are liners that I use from Sewn by Tash. Um, it's knit topped, cotton topped, and then organic bamboo floor topped. Um, this one is regular fleece and the other two are WinPro. Um, so those are liners that I used. Um, this is one from Mama Jewel's Handmade Gems. Um, and I use this one um, all throughout the month. So I wear liners most days um, for discharge and so this is one that has had a lot of use. I really like her stuff. Um, and this one is from the maker of Ecogenesis Originals. Um, this one actually has a core and then has hidden PUL. Um, so it could be used as a light for sure, but the length of it makes it only a liner for me. And then from Eco Owl um, by Netta is a Christmas one, but I really like it. Um, and it works well for me, so I use it um, all the time. This one actually is as a flannel core and then just flannel back so there's no um, water resistant layer on that one and then one by Yurt Craft um, and then this is Win Pro Bat. This one is by Cute and Simple um, on, she's a seller on Etsy so it's probably upside down um, so and she has hidden PUL as well and then flannel backed and then my last liner is one from Pink Lemonade Shop and this is actually a raw silk top and then Win Pro Back um, and so then my lights this month um, are, this one is, um, a, I think, cotton floor topped, um, but it's just a work at home made one, but I don't know who made it, um, but it, so it doesn't have a brand, it has a little bit of wonkiness to it, but it works. Um, this one is from Llama Beans, and it's a cotton topped and then hidden PUL um, back, it's super thin. And then this one is from Vintage Country Corner, and it is a knit top in the Skittle Farts Smell the Rainbow print, um, which I love. It's cute. Um, and then it has WinPro um, back. And then this one is from Chimea. Um, I think I'm saying that right. I'm not actually sure. But I think it's Cotton Velour topped, um, and then WinPro back. Um, this is, I think, one of my only surged pads besides... Um, a couple here or there but I really like it um, she's actually closed right now I think they're moving soon so um, I'll link her Facebook or Etsy page but um, I don't think you can get hers right now and then this is one by Eco Owl by Netta light pad there backed in fleece regular fleece cotton topped um, this one is um, by Empire Lush and it's a light pad um, it's one of my favorites. I like the print a lot and it works well. It's backed in super thin WinPro. I think it's WinPro. Anyway, um, but it does stain pretty easily and so I'm usually a little protective of wearing it, which I know sounds ridiculous since it's a favorite, but um, I like this one a lot. It's really thin and I love the star on the side, but um, it does just have the core and the big rectangle. So this over here doesn't have anything else besides the top fabric. My last two are from Jamie's Pretty Pads, and um, I actually got these when she was clearancing out them because they are her old style, um, and so, which is unfortunate for me actually because I really like the style, especially of this one, um, but this one is a cotton topped, um, I think it's hidden PUL back, um, I know it's candy corn, but I think it's adorable, so I use it anyway, and then this one, um, is a light. It's cotton tops and then wind pro back. Um, and this is one of the pads that I'm going to highlight and share a story about. Um, so 
like I said, my, my period was super heavy, um, this month. And so it was really heavy for a couple days and then it got almost non-existent. So I switched to light pads. Um, and I do sometimes switch over really quickly. So I go from really heavy to almost nothing. So it's not unusual. Um, but what was unusual is that it went back to being at least moderate level. Um, and I didn't realize it. So, and I was wearing this pad, which is a light, um, and it held up great. Um, so when I went to change it, I couldn't believe um, how much was on it. And um, it did leak just a dab. But I mean, if you could imagine how much it held, it was crazy. Um, so I was super happy with it. Um, so this is the rock star of the bunch for this month. Um, so I'll link all of their... Facebook or Etsy shops um, in the video description. So this is my liner and lights for uh, May 2015. And um, feel free to comment and like and I'll upload my heavies, um, moderates, and overnights in um, just a little bit. And so then you guys can check that out as well. Thanks for watching everyone.